Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lexi Lombard. I wanted to show up on YouTube and give a little catch up because two weeks ago I gave a personal life catch up and the like little content creator influencer in me is like, show them all of your favorite things. So that's what I want to do. I want to be like, look at my favorite lip products. Look at my journal. Look at what I've started doing. I'll explain this in a second. I also have some tops that I got, some books. Effectively, this is a weird video. It's just not following the exact acronym. Also, something I need to be doing is my roots. We just won't talk about that. These are the best lip products ever. I have two of them on right now and I can add the third. This lip liner by MAC in Boldly Bare. Insane. I think it looks great alone, but of course you can use it in combination with a lip product. I have the lip liner and this like lipstick on right now. So Boldly Bare by MAC. I'll put everything that I'm, I've already talked about over here. This is great. Also have I showed you this desk. It's refurbished from the 1920s. She's gorgeous. She um, has really fun little compartments. Like, that's so fun. And like this little guy, this drawer, I love her. Anyway, Baldy Bear Mac, and then this is the best. This is by Hourglass, and I'm new to Hourglass, and everything I've tried from them, I love. I love their primer, I love their foundation, and this I use almost every single day. It's a lipstick that's a little bit more glossy, and it's in the color Slip. And I have it on right now, along with the lip liner. I'm kind of bare-faced right now. I don't have any eye makeup on. I just have lips, brows, and then Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And then the last lip product, oh my god, you're going to see how fantastic it is. It's by Buxom, and it's in Summer Babe, and it's a lip oil. And it's plumping. And it just gives a really gorgeous wet look to your lips very sexy and then i apply my lip products in my little compact mirror from chanel that i purchased as a birthday present to myself and it makes me feel like a chic young woman so those are those it's a fruit fly i don't know how it's in here a skincare favorite tretinoin i don't know if you guys use tretinoin you might use a retinol the benefits of tretinoin have been so obvious in my skin this is from curology so it also has a mixture of azaleic acid niacinamide and i apply it to my face at night i credit tretinoin for making my skin look the way that it does i have no coverage no concealer no foundation on all i have is flawless filter and that is not coverage this helps even out my skin tone help with dark spots help with fine lines as well as keep my pores clear it says to apply to my face nightly, however, my skin is on the more sensitive side, so I just use this a few times a week. If I start using it nightly, I'll start peeling, which is one of the side effects of tretinoin, but that phase ends. Normally, you have a bit of a purge, and you peel, and then your skin looks perfect, and it's so fantastic. So if you haven't tried it before, I will have a link in the description box where you can shop and get your subscription. You go to Curology, you take photos of various sides of your face so they can get an up-close look at what's going on, and then a dermatology provider at Curology will create a formula for you. Ingredients are subject to what is actually going on with your skin. It's so convenient, and it works like a charm. Then for what I've been wearing, I just have recently been collecting some summer tops. Just some little flirty tops. This one's from Moschino. And I want to do a flirty and sporty vibe this summer. So wearing something like this with a tennis skirt and some sneakers. Then I have this sexy top from God Saves Queens, I believe. Very hot. This little top. Little Y2K moment. Cute. This guy. Then I have this little stoner girl tie-dye moment. This I got at Wasteland. And then this is also from Thread Up and it's Moschino. Look how cute she is. So cute! So just some fun tops for summer. That's what I'll be wearing. Also, I came home from my walk today and I had a PR package from Chris Clemens who runs Middle Kid and he sent me two tees. We have this pixelated cantaloupe. So kind of like 
my melons, you know, very fun. And then this tea that says, I believe it's excuse my French or pardon my French and it says it in French. No, it says kid of middle, middle kid. I don't know why I didn't pull that together. So I was editing, looking at it. I'm like, that. it's not what it says. What does it say? Middle kid in French. So thanks, Chris. Any of the secondhand stuff like Wasteland or Bearded Beagle, I can't put links for, but I can definitely include the links for the middle kid shirts and the makeup. And God Saves Queens, that like little sexy bustier top. And then of course the books. Look at these. This is what I'm currently reading. And these have been my favorite books that I've read this year. Haruki Murakami, Norwegian Wood. A love story that takes place in Japan. Horny and sweet. Then we have Bad Cree, Jessica Johns. It's the story of a group of women in their lineage all having sort of spiritual powers and them using their powers to get justice for their sister. So this one's kind of spooky, a little bit of a horror story, but also there's magic in it. So this is fantastic. These are both fiction novels. Actually, everything that I'm about to show is fiction. Then I have Toni Morrison's Sula. This is a life story of a group of people from a town called The Bottom that exists on a hill. It's a, mostly the story of two women. We have, what's her name? Nell. Nell and Sula and how their life kind of unfolds. She's so good. I mean, Toni Morrison, Nobel Prize winner. She knows how to write a story. It just is so one of a kind. I mean, honestly, this felt pretty one of a kind as well. Recommend both. And then currently, I'm really, like I just started this yesterday, Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. I remember this movie coming out when I was growing up and I never saw it, but it's, it's the story of a girl who was murdered and the story kind of begins with, my name is Salmon, like the fish, first name Susie. I was 14 when I was murdered on December 6th, 1973. That's how it began. So instantly I was gripped. And this is a very, I mean, they're all, three out of four of these are quite famous, <laughs> but I love them. I'm in such like a stupid mood at the moment. I feel very flighty and ditzy. So trying to even describe a book, I'm like, no brain cells up here. I have summer brain right now. You know, when you're in school and the weather starts to get good and you can just see the nice day happening outside of the window of the classroom, that's how I feel right now. It's like, I'm sitting here trying to communicate with you, but I just know that it's a gorgeous spring day outside and I need to be out there. Like I wanna be having class outside. If I was able to record this outside in a way that audio was still nice and gorgeous and they weren't blowing a leaf blower, I would do it. But instead, I just gotta buckle down. The other hesitation that I'm having with this video is I keep feeling like I'm going in and out of focus and I don't know how to stop that. Okay, backing it up, because I just did reading and I jumped the gun, impressed by. This all begins on 4th of July, 2022. I was at a party and this man, whom I've never met, takes the glasses off of my face and proceeds to breathe on them and wipe them off with his shirt and then put them back on my face and he goes, you needed this. And I didn't even realize how dirty my sunglasses were. I honestly found it charming and flattering. I can see this being annoying depending on who the person is in this scenario. In this case, it was fine. Since that moment, I've made a big point to when I'm wearing glasses, sunglasses, whatever the case may be, to clean them. So I keep one of these in my car and in my purse at all times now and this has made such a massive difference now i do the same thing to my friends i'll see their sunglasses in their car take this out of my purse and then clean them and say try them on now and so many times friends are like didn't even know it was that bad had no idea so i love these sunglasses these are from bonnie clyde my second favorite pair of sunglasses right now are in my car and they're perfect driving glasses they're from pepper eyewear I'll include some photos of me wearing them. These, I think, are just the perfect, unassuming, day-to-day -day sunglass. They're trendy, but not too trendy. 
and they're black so they go with everything and then my journal i took a break from journaling for a second and i missed it i missed being honest and in touch with myself on paper and last night i went through and i journaled two four six seven pages which i haven't done in quite some time so just the concept of bringing a journal back into my life is good right now it just feels very nice that's all she wrote y'all what have i been doing i went on a gorgeous walk around the neighborhood took some cute photos of my cute little outfit let me show you my outfit it's so cute i wore this with loafers with my little sunnies my little sunglasses and i'm gonna continue enjoying my day also, I'm the host of the Alexi podcast, so if you want to listen to my newest episode, go on Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to podcasts, and I will catch you there as well. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.